Hello, my friend. Welcome. Uh, I am uh, today. I I was thinking about the the power of us actually inviting ourselves into the conversation, and I was thinking also about how in our you know last few years um, with all of the different challenges and uh, ups and downs, how so many people are doing their best, but are also feeling uh, more overwhelmed. And I thought, gosh, well, what do we have for that when people are feeling overwhelmed? And I thought, well, duh, love scoops. That's what love scoops are about. And what, and the, the element of love scoops that I think that people sometimes miss is that you are choosing. You are choosing to include yourself. I don't know about you, but I have an old story. You know, one of my old stories is I'm waiting to be included. And then I feel like there's something wrong with me because I'm not being included. Uh, and that somehow it's other people's responsibility to include me. And what uh, the heart of love scoops is that you're declaring, I want to be here. I want to be here on the planet. I want to be here with me. I want to be in connection. And, and how, we, how that actually activates your body is because you're reaching out in a way that includes your core. So I'd like you to first reach out in what I sometimes call love windmill. So when we're doing love scoops, people go, okay, yeah, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. So just go ahead and do some love windmills and then just notice if you feel any more here, <laughs> if you feel any more included, or if you just sort of feel like you're flapping. So for me, it's a flapping. And uh, so just take a moment and just notice, especially what's happening in your heart, in your belly after doing, like I feel I've been exercising, <laughs> you know, my, I've been using my arms, but I don't feel any kind of connection in my core. So just uh, take a moment and notice what you're actually experiencing there. And then I'd like you to actually reach out so that it includes your core, reach out, actually gather up some love and bring it in and let it land somewhere where you can actually experience your touch. I can also experience the vibration of my voice, which connects me in a, at a different level so you could add in a hmm so that you can have that additional sensory input. So let yourself experiment with reaching out, actually gathering up some love. You might, you know, consider it that you've got love snow drifts around for those of you who live in that kind of, uh, you know, you're still in winter, just scoop up some love and place it anywhere on you that you're just wanting a little extra contact and then let yourself receive it. That's the other part. We get so interested in, uh, uh, in feeling like nobody's including me that we don't let ourselves actually notice when we're getting included and when we're including ourselves. So letting yourself reach out and you might find a different place. Like I just that, you know, this is weird, but I'm just going to do under my arm. Ah, you know, this junction between my arms and my, the rest of my body, does anybody ever accept, you know, except for, you know, putting on deodorant, do you ever really pay attention to your armpit? So, you know, any love deprived areas of you, making sure you reach out and then you bring that love in wherever you want it. And then you, I can actually feel my voice vibrating in my armpit. That's cool. <laughs> And then you let yourself absorb. So for me also that I feel an out breath. I notice myself slowing down. I'm noticing myself finding the rhythm of reaching and receiving. So this is an area, you know, physiologically, we don't have very much protection here at all. So you're, uh, all of your organs are right there under your rib cage. And so this is an area where people wear scarves, they protect themselves. But what if you could protect yourself with love? Ah, <sighs> mm, 
just feeling that getting absorbed and take a moment and notice now how you're experiencing yourself in your core is it feel different to you than when you were doing love windmills? So love scoops are designed to really activate where you have the your soft parts, your organs that we usually keep protected by uh, contracting. But if you're letting yourself bring in love, and letting it land. I'm going to let mine land now um, on my legs, which support me and allow me to experience ah, resting into my own source of power. Hmm. So love scoops are a wonderful way of taking responsibility for your engagement and your connection. And then we can add to that, you can have a love scoop with your loops. So you can gather up love and send it out. And then you can gather up love and bring it back to you. You can notice something around you that's beautiful and uh, and appreciate that beauty and then bring that beauty back to you with your attention. So in a way, loop of awareness is a bigger love scoop. So you can give it directly to you with touch and you can give it to you with attention. And then I'd love for you to let your body respond. So you're gathering up love and you're sending it out. You could be sending out like a like a big, here you are, everybody, just have some. <laughs> you could send it out randomly. And you could also gather it up and bring it into you in a different way. You could sprinkle it over you. You could let it shower you. You could let it envelop you. So you can do all of those things. I like to use my hands a lot and my body when we're practicing because we really amplify the experience of shifting attention. And when you've practiced, you can do that then energetically. You can do that with your vision. You can do that with your intention. So letting yourself just play with intending here for a moment of intending to let your attention be spread out around you. Hmm. And when I do that, I almost always notice something that I haven't noticed before, a color or a shape of something. It allows me to notice more of the beauty of the world and the beauty uh, that I often don't associate with me. I, I'll go, okay, other things are beautiful, but not me. So letting yourself gather some of that beauty that you've seen and let it come back to you. And for me, I, letting my body respond allows me to open up. It's really like tilling the soil or just opening so that things are not parched. So Letting yourself mm, receive and letting your body assist you to open up to receive. Because a lot of us have an attitude of other people can have attention, but I can't have attention because I haven't done anything. I don't deserve it. You know, all of those things that we've told ourselves. So letting yourself give yourself loving attention just because Ah, <sighs> and often I've noticed, I don't know if you've noticed, let's, let's play with giving some attention to other people who are, are on the call. So letting yourself notice something that's beautiful about them and then bringing that back and letting yourself notice that same thing about you. And when we involve other people who can see us seeing them, one thing that often happens is that people get a little stiff, you know, and frozen, like, oh, I couldn't possibly. 
You know, like when somebody gives you a compliment and you deflect it and you go, oh, that old thing. Or, uh, you know, I, <laughs> a, I, I, remember a, I remember Gay trying to give someone a compliment on her apple pie. And after about five rounds, he just gave up because, oh, we had to get the flour I needed. And, oh, I think the shortening is a little bit old. And, and so finally, he just, you know, he said, OK, uh, you know, I did my best there. But I think we have a deflection of, uh, of appreciation and love. So notice when you're looking at someone and then you bring that back to yourself, someone is going to be looking at you and giving you loving attention. So notice the tendency of your body to kind of go, oh, no, not me, everybody else, not me. And let yourself open up to that and including giving yourself some love scoops any place that you're feeling that you're deflecting. So people often deflect here in their jaw or up in their shoulders, or they hold their breath. So you can bring your ah, loving attention down to your diaphragm or around to the back of your diaphragm. So wondering if you would be willing to let your intention to love and appreciate and circulate that include you. Ah. And as I do that, you know, particularly if I'm feeling, you know, fuzzy or I've been dealing with a lot or I'm aware of, you know, all of the awfulness that's going on in several in parts of the world now, um, I get clogged up with that. And so doing love scoops and particularly love scoops with loop of awareness allows me to be more permeable, allows me to open up more to, ah, there's plenty of love to share, plenty of love to give and receive. Ah, and when I notice my core now, I feel I, this is what I feel in my core. And so I want to invite you to just let your hands dance with what you're feeling in your core now. Let yourself shape or, uh, or paint how your core has expanded. Oh, and I also, I feel more buoyancy under in my armpits. So <laughs> I thought, well, I don't know what's going to happen there. It just may be just a fun thing <laughs> to do, but I actually feel a lightness. And so it allows my wings, the wings of my arm to feel more buoyant. And then of course we can ride the currents. You know, if we're buoyant and we're letting our, our whole bodies be really just a receiver and a container for spreading love in the world, then we can move from fear to presence and then to connection. Uh, and that giving and receiving, I find gets amplified if I'm doing these practices. I get more and I can give more. And I'm also tapping into the big reservoir. So let yourself also notice your feet. Are your feet connected? And are you receiving through your feet? So the, the love of our planet, the things that are growing and emerging, those can all be infused through your up, through your body. So we've got out and back, but we also have up and circulating. So you can feel all of that energy coming up through your legs, through your core. <sighs> and that can be then shared out through your arms. And then you can bring it back to you. And when you do your love scoops, let that move all the way through you, down through your legs, down through your feet and into the ground. Thank you for bringing your feline friend here. Janelle for <laughs> that's <laughs> how I start my day. My cats come and love me up. So I get my first love scoops from cats uh, in the morning. Uh, and so our animal companions can be just such a wonderful source of remembering that it's all about love and connection. So in your presence, notice if you feel more able 
to give and receive? If, if you feel more connected, are you more connected to you? Do you feel more connected with people here? So whenever I'm feeling like, oh, I'm all here I'm by myself, you know, people don't really get it, you know, or I'm just feeling overwhelmed with everything I've had to handle. I want to suggest to you a combination of really big love scoops and then letting those love scoops go into loop of awareness. So you're just getting yourself, you know, like fluffing a pillow, you're fluffing your energy system that gives you, you know, a possibility to be present here regardless of what is going on around you yeah so um for um for the card today i'm going to show you i'm going to just put it up to the there's this wonderful picture of there's a what you might not this is a whale eye down here and this is a person who is jumping off my interpretation is jumping off into the cosmos. So I'm just going to hold this up for you to look at while I read what's on the back. I know it's a little bit. I'm going to turn it down a little bit so you can see and move it back. There we go. I initiate conversations with authentic expression as well as responding to others' initiations. So uh, I very cleverly put together what we were doing with the card today about initiating, that we forget that we can initiate. We don't have to wait for permission. We don't have to wait for space. You know, everybody is there polite waiting for space to say something. You can initiate, which also opens up the space for other people to enjoy uh, the connection and the giving and receiving. Now, here's a question, and I'd like you to just let yourself notice how your body responds. How can I source and initiate authentic speaking in any situation? Whoa. And then in parenthesis, initiating real communications without having to be begged, threatened, or coerced. So, or waiting for the person to say it to you in the right way. You know, I didn't like the way you said that. I don't feel invited because I don't like your tone. That you, uh, an aspect of responsibility is initiating. So when you're waiting, it's very easy to fall into victim. You know, everybody else is getting invited and I didn't get invited. Uh, rather than initiating, and when you initiate with authenticity, that brings a spark of aliveness into whatever situation. It doesn't have to be profound. It just needs to be authentic. Like, um, you know, me talking about my armpits was not profound, but it was authentic. And what I experienced with that was just a little burst of aliveness. And that's how you'll know that you're connecting with your authentic self is that you get more aliveness. So, um, we have the, oh, I was just hearing it's better to give than receive. Uh, and we also, we have sayings about it, you know, you, you have to wait. You can't just barge in, you know, you have to wait for the, and there is something about timing that makes a big difference. But I really want you to engage in initiating because you might notice something like, oh, I want, oh, that's a really interesting looking person. Well, you could initiate going over and saying hi the you don't have to wait for there to be an opening because other people are probably experiencing the same thing that you are of waiting for so when you initiate it models for others oh i can just barge in awkwardly and it doesn't have to be any particular way so i want to invite you this is from our conscious communication part of the integrity deck and for those of you who may be new um, uh, my intention is to share all of the cards by the end of the year. And I also wanted you to know that we have videos for each one of the cards. So you could go into uh, the uh, Foundation for Conscious Living website and find even more about, your, um, about this particular card and, and how you might use it and how you might 
apply it during the day. So I'm going to go ahead and take my leave now and invite you all to stay and converse or ask or share what happened for you um, as long as you'd like. And Darlene, thank you so much for, for hosting today. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Mwah. Bye now. Mm -hmm.